Praise God. Thank you, worship team. I've been enjoying the worship all week long. And how about those children from the House of Hope tonight? Can we give them another thanks? That touched my heart. I have four children back at home. I have one boy and three girls. So all of it was really great with those little girls with the big smiles that really touched my heart and makes me miss my home a little bit more. I would like to thank Dr. Matthew Thomas and Mrs. Elizabeth Thomas. For the opportunity to come preach the gospel to their people and support their ministry. There are many reasons I have to thank Dr. Matthew Thomas. But tonight I want to thank him and thank God for his boldness as a leader. That when times are tough, he is not shaken, but he is motivated by the Spirit of God and the Word of God. This encourages me greatly as a young Christian leader. Can we thank God together for the leader that he's given us? And I also want to share my deepest thanks with Dr. Carter. He has been uh, so open-hearted to myself and my companion, Matthew. He has inspired us to have a greater love for the study of the scriptures. And I greatly appreciate the honor he has for his father. I love my dad dearly. And I can see that he really loved his dad, and he's also leaving a legacy for his sons that are coming after him. Thank God for your ministry this week and for your new friendship. And boy, did you miss a powerful message this morning if you missed Reverend Mrs. Carter. Can we give God a thanks for their ministry this week? Praise the Lord. I am so excited to share the good news with you tonight. I have three questions for you. They are simple questions. They're short questions. But how you answer these questions tonight will determine the course of your future. They will determine the course of where you spend the rest of your life. They will determine where you spend your time in the next life. Let us pray. Father God, I want to thank you for this opportunity to come together under the great name of Jesus Christ. Father God, there are questions that you are asking of us tonight. About how we pursue 
receive Jesus Christ. कि हम यीशु को कैसे भांपते हैं. And I pray that you would open every heart. और हम प्रार्थना करते हैं कि हर एक दिलों को तू खोल देगा. To receive the love of God. कि परमेश्वर के प्रेम को वो स्वीकार कर पाए. And the good news that Jesus Christ alone can save. और तू समझा कि केवल मसीह यीशु हमें बचा सकता है. Let your Holy Spirit be here in power. होने पाए आपके पवित्र आत्मा हमें सामर्थ्य देने पाए. To confirm the word of God in our heart. कि हमारे दिलों तक आपके वचन को वो पहुंचा पाए. And may all glory and honor. और सारी मनीमा और आदर. Go to the name of Jesus Christ. यीशु के नाम को मिलने पाए. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. प्रभु की स्तुति हो. Three questions for you tonight. और आज की रात्रि में आपके लिए तीन प्रश्न. What is your grave? आपका कब्र क्या है? Who is your God? आपका परमेश्वर कौन है? Does your God have the power to call you out of your grave? क्या आपके परमेश्वर के पास ये सामर्थ है कि वो आपके कब्र से आपको बाहर बुला ले? Three simple questions. What is your grave? तीन आसान प्रश्न पहला आपका कब्र क्या है? Who is your God? आपका परमेश्वर कौन है? Does your God have the power to call you out of your grave? क्या आपके परमेश्वर के पास ये सामर्थ है कि आपको कब्र से वो वापस बुला ले? In the Bible, the book of John, chapter 11. In John 11, verse 34, Jesus asked a question. He said, Where have you laid him? And the people said to him, Lord, come and see. And then one of the shortest verses in the Bible. The scripture says in John 11, 35, Jesus wept. Why did Jesus weep? Well, many scholars believe that Jesus wept because of a very sad occurrence that had just happened in his life. Other scholars believe that Jesus weeps in this in this occurrence in John 11 because he's upset that people are not believing in his power. But you see, what has taken place in Jesus' life at this point is that he has lost his dear friend Lazarus. Jesus was very close with this man Lazarus. And with this man's sisters, Mary and Martha. They lived in a town called Bethany. And this man Lazarus had become very sick. And so some some people came to Jesus and said, Your friend Lazarus is sick, come quickly. For surely people knew that Jesus was healing the sick. He was casting out demons. He was doing great miracles. And so they wanted Jesus to come heal his friends. And on his way to visit his friend Lazarus, Jesus delays himself. And in the course of time, for when Jesus leaves to go visit Lazarus to when he gets there, this sickness has ended Lazarus' life. And Jesus tells his followers not to worry, this sickness is not to death but to the glory of God. But here we see that Lazarus has now died, he has now passed away. When he arrives to the home of Mary and Martha, they are greatly disturbed. Jesus, if you would have been here earlier, this would not have happened. 
issue agar yahan par pehle aaya hota to shayad yah nahi hota and they are in a lot of grief and they're mourning because they dearly love their brother aur wo bahut dukhi ho gaye hain bilab kar rahe hain kyunki unka priya bhai ab is duniya mein nahi raha and so we pick up the story where jesus says where have you laid him where have you laid my friend last year to humne wahan se jis ayat ko padha gyar ved hai ki 34th ki ayat wo jahan par masi yeshu se puchta hai ki tumne lazar ko kahan rakha hai Where is his grave? Uski qabr kahan par hai? And Jesus weeps. Aur phir Yeshu rota hai. His friend is dead. Uska mitra mar chuka hai. His friend's sisters are greatly disturbed and in a lot of grief. Aur uske mare hue mitra ki behne bahut udaas hai aur vilap bana rahi hai. What is your grave? आपका कब्र कहां है लाजरस वाज इन अ ग्रेव ही वाज इन अ टूम और लाजर कब्र में था वो तो ताबूत में था व्हाट इज द ग्रेव दैट यू आर इन इन योर लाइफ और आपके जीवन में वो कब्र कहां है जहां आप पड़े हुए हैं आर यू इन द ग्रेव ऑफ एडिक्शन क्या आप किसी लक्ष की कब्र में पड़े हुए हैं आर यू इन द मिडस्ट ऑफ अ होपलेस सिचुएशन क्या आप आशाहीन परिस्थितियों में पड़े हुए हैं इज देयर अ हैबिट इन योर लाइफ दैट इज नेगेटिव एंड यू कैन नॉट ब्रेक इट सो कैसी आदत ऐसी लत आपके जीवन में है जिससे आप बाहर नहीं निकल पा रही है क्या आप बीमारी नामक उस कब्र में पड़े हुए हैं आई थैंक गॉड फॉर डॉक्टर्स और मैं चिकित्सकों के लिए परमेश्वर का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ बट समाइम्स देर आर कंडीशन विच मेडिसिन हैज नो क्योर लेकिन कई बार ऐसी परिस्थितियां आ जाती है की जिसका इलाज इन बैलों के पास नहीं होता एंड सो यू कंटिन्यू टू लिव इन डायग्नोसिस इज होप फॉर यू तो फिर आप फिर ऐसी अवस्था में जीना शुरू कर देते हैं जो आपके लिए एक समय के बाद आशाहीन हो जाती है मेबी द ग्रेव ऑफ सिकनेस इज ड्यू टू एन इंजरी और अ पेन हो सकता है कि एक जख्म की वजह से एक दर्द की वजह से आप को कोई बीमारी के कब्र में डल गए हो मेबी इट्स अ डिजीज दैट इज नॉट बीन रेमेडी या फिर ऐसा एक रोग हो जिसकी कोई भी उपचार नहीं I have seen Jesus do many great things as many of you here have seen. Aur jaise aap mein se bahut sare logon ne dekha hai maine bhi apne aankhon se Yeshu ko badi badi changaiyan karte dekhi hai. But Lazarus he was dead. Lekin ab to Lazar mar chuka hai. It seems so hopeless. Aur ye bahut hi aashaheen jaan padta hai. What is your grave? Ab aapka qabr kya hai? Is it oppression or curses? क्या ये तनाव और ये कोई आपको सता रहा है डू यू फील टॉर्मेंटेड इन योर माइंड एंड लाइक यू हैव नो पीस इन योर हार्ट क्या अपने दिल में आप पीड़ा का एहसास करते हैं कोई आपको दबा रहा है और आपके मन में शांति नहीं है व्हाट इज योर ग्रेव आपका कब्र क्या है इज इट अनफॉरगिवनेस इज इट द पेन ऑफ द नेगेटिव इमोशंस इन योर हार्ट क्या ये क्षमा हीनता है क्या ये आशा हीनता है क्या ये नकारात्मक मनोभाव है एंड यू आर सो एंग्री यू आर सो अनसेटल्ड इनसाइड क्या आप बेहद क्रोधित हो जाते हैं अपने अंदर में आपको अच्छा एहसास नहीं होता एंड यू फील दैट यू कैन नेवर कम आउट ऑफ दिस दिस ग्रेव इन योर लाइफ और आपको ये लग रहा है कि इस परिस्थिति से इस कब्र से आप कभी भी बाहर नहीं निकल पा सकते व्हाट इज योर ग्रेव आपका कब्र क्या है आर यू स्टक इन द ग्रेव ऑफ सिन टुनाइट क्या आज की रात में आप पाप नुमा उस कब्र में फंस गए हैं The Bible says in Romans chapter 6:23 that the wages of sin is death. और रोमी छह की तेईस पैसा लिखा है कि पाप की मजदूरी तो मृत्यु है. You see, the truth is that if we have not come to Jesus Christ for forgiveness, our life is under the power and rule of sin. सच्चाई तो ये है कि हम उस यीशु के पास मुआफी के लिए नहीं आए और हमारा जीवन पाप और शैतान की प्रभुता में है. Spiritually speaking, all of us who have yet to find hope in Jesus Christ are the walking dead. और आप एक रूप से बोलूँ तो हम में से कुछ लोग या तो मस्ती यीशु में आशा को प्राप्त करके आशा में चल रहे हैं या फिर आशा हीनता में पाप में पड़े हुए हैं. The Bible says if we are under the power of sin, we are destined to death. Bible बताती है कि हम प्राप्त के प्रभुता में पड़े हुए हैं तो हमारी मंजिल नरक है. This death the Bible speaks about is not only a physical death. और यह जो मृत्यु जिसके बारे में बाइबल में बताती है यह केवल शारीरिक मृत्यु मात्र नहीं है. It's a spiritual death. यह तो आत्मिक मृत्यु है. It causes us to be dead in our hearts so that we cannot be alive in a relationship with God through इस, Jesus Christ. क्योंकि इसकी वजह से यह हमारे दिल में हमारे मनों में हमें मृतक कर देता है जिसकी वजह से हम जीवित परमेश्वर के साथ संबंध स्थापित नहीं कर पाते द बाइबल टीचेस अस दैट दिस स्पिरिचुअल डेथ डस इवेंचुअली लीड अस ऑल टू अ फिजिकल डेथ एट वन पॉइंट इन टाइम और बाइबल बताती है यही आत्मिक मृत्यु जो हमारे मनों को 
वृद्धक कर दिया है एक समय की बात हमारे शारीरिक मृत्यु में तब्दील हो जाता है और हम हमेशा के लिए परमेश्वर से जुदा हो जाते हैं All of us who believe in Jesus Christ and even those of us who do not we will all end up one day our physical bodies will perish and we will be in a grave हमें से हर एक लोग जो मसीह पर विश्वास करते हैं और वो लोग जो विश्वास नहीं करते हम सभी मरकर एक दिन नरक में अपने जीवन को अंत करेंगे The Bible says it's appointed for man once to die Because of the effects of sin in the world, all of us have an appointed time where we will leave our physical body. और पाप की प्रभाव जबकि इस दुनिया में है, हम सभी के लिए एक अंतिम दिन नियुक्त किया गया है, जिस दिन हमको इस दुनिया को छोड़कर जाना है. But the Bible says in Romans 3:23 that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. रोमियों के पद्धति की तेज में लिखा है, सबने पाप किया और परमेश्वर की महिमा से रहित हैं. This means that before we die. Physically, we are all dead spiritually. इसका मतलब ये कि इससे पहले हम शारीरिक मृत्यु को प्राप्त करें, हम आत्मिक मृत्यु को प्राप्त कर चुके हैं. All of us have been in the grave of sin and death, or we are still currently in the grave of sin and death. एक समय था कि हम सभी उस पाप और मृत्यु के कब्र में ताबूत में पड़े थे, या फिर अब हम पाप और मृत्यु के कब्र में पड़े हुए हैं. What is your grave? आपका कब्र क्या है? Does your God have the power to call you out of your grave? So here we see Jesus, and he's going to approach the grave, the tomb of his friend Lazarus. And as he goes with these people that are in great grief to the tomb, he goes in verse 39 of John 11, he says, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead for four days. And Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? And so Jesus, he lifts up his eyes as they roll the stone away, and he says, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And he said, I know that you always hear me, but because of the people you are standing by, I said that this, this that they may believe that you sent me. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice. Lazarus! Hey, Lazarus! Come forth! And he who had died came out bound, hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go! और हाथ पांव बने हुए निकल आया और उसका मुंह अंगूठे से लिपटा हुआ था यीशु ने उसे कहा उसे खोल दो और जाने दो एंड एट द वर्ड ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट लाज़रस हु हैड प्रीवियसली जस्ट डाइड फोर डेज अर्लियर वाज नाउ अलाइव अब वो लाज़र जो चार दिन पहले मर चुका था कब्र में रखा गया था यीशु की आवाज सुनकर वो जीवित हो जाता है What is your grave? आपका कब्र क्या है? Who is your God? आपका परमेश्वर कौन है? Does your God have the power to call you out of your grave? क्या आपके परमेश्वर के पास ये सामर्थ्य क्या वो कब्र से वो बाहर बुला ले? Jesus Christ is so unique. He's so powerful. He's so amazing. यीशु इतना अनूठा है, इतना अद्भुत है और इतना सामर्थी है. Who has the power over sin and death? जिसका पाप और मृत्यु पर अधिकार है, प्रभुता है। His name is Jesus Christ. उसका नाम यीशु मसीह है। Who has the authority to speak to those who have died? वह उनसे भी बात कर सकता है जो इन्हें कास्ट द डिराइज अगेन। जो मर चुके हैं उन्हें वो जीवित कर सकता है। We 
see the authority of Jesus, that he has the authority to speak to his Father in heaven. The first thing that Jesus does with his authority is speak to his Father. The next thing that Jesus does with his authority is to speak to the dead body of his friend Lazarus who's been starting to rot and decay so much that they expected that there was starting to be a stench that was coming off of his dead body. And the word of God on the lips of the Son of God released power and authority to do the impossible. And to lift the dead body of Lazarus back to life. Then he came out wrapped in his grave clothes. And they had to lose him. Jesus has the power to do the impossible. What is your grave? Who is your God? Does your God have the power to call you out of your grave? Jesus is so unique because he is not a God who waits for you to come and seek him. This story is such a clear picture of the gospel and the love of God. One of my favorite words to describe the gospel besides the name of Jesus is the word awakening. Lazarus is dead in a, in a grave. He has no ability to relate to Jesus. Lazarus has not even the ability to have faith at this point for his miracle. He's dead. It's hopeless. It's been four days. There's nothing he can do for himself. But oh the love of Jesus to come to his grave. And to speak a word that has the power to bring life. You see, the gospel of Jesus Christ is so much more than just right and wrong or good and evil. Right and wrong and good and evil are very important in the Christian faith. But the gospel is operating at an even higher truth. The gospel and the word of God does not just balance the world between good and evil forces. We see in this story that the gospel shows us that it's not about only good and evil but about death and life. The message of the gospel is not just become a good person. The gospel of Jesus Christ charges us all that we are under death. But that if in the middle of our dead situation, Jesus comes and brings us life. We have nothing to offer him. We are all hopeless in our graves. But then Jesus stands outside our graves. And he weeps. And he's moved with compassion. He's the God of love. He's 
परमेश्वर है वो सामर्थ का परमेश्वर है वो सारे अधिकारों का परमेश्वर है और जब हमारे पाप हमें आशा इन अवस्था में लेकर चला जाता है
said to call Lazarus by name was because if he would have just said, come forth, then all of the bodies that were buried in that tomb would have come walking out. कुछ विद्वान ये कहते हैं कि बाइबल के विद्वान यूँ बताते हैं कि यीशु ने आखिर क्यों कर केवल लाजर का उसे अपना नाम लेकर उसे बाहर बुलाया बगैर नाम लिए भी वो बुला सकता था लेकिन उन्होंने ये बताते हैं अगर वो नाम लेकर नहीं बुलाता हो सकता है जितने मृतक शरीर वहाँ पड़े हैं वो सब जिंदे होकर बाहर निकल आए और ये परमेश्वर की सामर्थ और उसका प्रेमी है जो हमारे कब्रों में आकर हमें बाहर बुलाता है और आज की रात भी उसका इतना सामर्थ है कि हम सब के कब्रों से वो हमें बाहर बुला सके Because he loves you, 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 और वो आपके पास आता है to call your name, कि आपके नाम को पुकारे to give you new life that starts now, कि आपको नया जीवन दे जो अभी इसी वक्त शुरू होता है and lasts forever and ever, और जो समाधन नाम के लिए चलता रहता है I know that I get a little excited when I preach, और मैं जानता हूँ कि इस संदेश का मैं प्रचार करूँ मैं बहुत ज़्यादा उत्साहित हूँ but you need to understand that I was dead, लेकिन आपको मालूम होना चाहिए एक समय था जब मैं मारा हुआ था